afternoon everybody and I hope you're well today. Um, I'd like to talk to you about stress and anxiety today and uh, hopefully give you some useful tips that uh, will help you keep it under control. So we all feel stress at times and we all deal with it in, uh, in different ways and there are also different type of stress and um, different way of coping with it. So for instance, low level stress can be um, even useful. It can give us a little bit of extra motivation or push us to be our best and perform small tasks at, uh, at work or on a heavy day life. But um, we also need to be aware that high level stress are really detrimental to our health and um, it can affect our body can affect our relationship and so many other different aspects of our life, even self-esteem and confidence. So it actually holds us back on um, small and uh, important, small or important task of our life. Um, so during this particular time, loads of us are feeling stressed and overwhelmed, and uh, probably even more than usual. But it's also everyday routine that we used to have, you know, before the pandemic, like uh, commuting to work, dealing with deadlines, and uh, just like so many other aspects of the life, like dropping the kids to school and uh, be healthy and uh, keep on track of a training routine, whatever it may be. So all these, all these factors can then accumulate over time and affect our well-being because they accumulate levels of stress on our body. Um, so this might be just the right time to focus on ourselves and uh, trying to deal and cope with uh, the stress in whatever way works best for each individual. So as I said, these are just I just want to give you today a couple of tips that I personally find it useful um, with myself or I recommend it to clients and um, it's all very personal and everybody deals with it in different ways. So just find what works for you, maybe take some, take some tips um, that I'm giving you today and give it a go. Um, first of all then, how do we recognise the sign of stress? Um, different ways, we can feel overwhelmed uh, we can be really irritable or really worried and scared all the time. Um, we might feel a lack of self-confidence, uh, like we constantly doubt in ourselves or not feel like we are good enough to perform a certain task or we don't even try to do it because we feel that we're going to get it wrong anyway. Um, lack of sleep. It also massively um, is a sign of stress and uh, a high heart rate and blood pressure are also very important sign that our body's in a stressful situation. Uh, some of us might even overeat, overdrink or smoke just to, sort of, just to sort of cope with it. So these are some of the signs. Um, Sometimes it can get even worse. Some people have like a proper panic attack from it and difficult breathing. Um, so there's small little things that we can do or try to do to try and control that and trying to um, minimize the impact of the stress symptoms on a, on a life or um, trying to keep it under control that we are in charge of it so we can control it and uh, minimize the impact. So how do we do that? How do we control it and how do we change it? Um, I find that identifying the causes of stress might be a good starting point. So be aware of what is making you stressed, what is it that is giving you the anxiety, what, what is it? So if you know what it is, it's much easier for you to deal with it and focus it on that issue itself. Let's say you start the day feeling like, oh my God, I've got so much stuff to do. And it's like a constant list on your head. So, oh, I, won't, I will never be able to finish this because it's just too much. So I take a step back 
and uh, I'm aware that this is what is making me stressed. So what I might do is I write down a list and break it down into small little tasks. So as you go ahead, you can tick them off and you know that you've done it. So that, for instance, might be a, a good starting point, knowing what it is that is making you stressed and trying to find a way to, one step at a time, achieve it or uh, dealing with it. Um, also really important is learn to say no at times, like recognize our limits. We are all humans and uh, there's certain things that we can't not do or we can't not do right now. So it's okay to do that. It's okay to say no and it's absolutely fine to say I can't do that on my own. So ask for help or just admit that is out of your capability. And that might also give you a bit of relief of feeling that, you know what, it's actually okay that I am unable to do that and I'm not going to let that affect my mindset. Um, I also find that avoiding, in a way, people that are really negative or that are people that stress you out might be a good, a good point. Um, try and, and communicate or connect with people that have a much positive um, way of seeing life, people that make you feel calm and um, they don't add more stress to your life. So this might be a good point to just help yourself get yourself out of a situation and see it on a different, on a different perspective. Um, what else I could recommend? It's um, also try and express your feelings, just don't keep everything for yourself and try and talk about the way that you feel with people that you trust. You might feel that sometimes all these feelings build up inside yourself and they seem much worse than they are and the moment that you phrase it, the moment that you talk about it, you actually realise that it might not be as big as you initially thought. Um, also try and focus on things that you can control rather than constantly debating on stuff that is out of your control. And I know that for most of these things it's much, it's easier said than done. But uh, constantly worrying and thinking about stuff that is part of the past or stuff that is totally out of our control is not going to change it, it's not going to make it any better. So I personally find that if I focus on stuff that I know I can change stuff that is depending on my actions then it's so much easier to control the outcome of that rather than debating and keep thinking and uh, stressing about stuff that is totally out of control of our control or is also part of the past it already happened we can't change that so why keep thinking and thinking about that it's it hurts and it, it, may, it might make me feel hungry um, I also think that a very important way to cope and deal with stress is finding yourself a hobby. Something that distracts you, something that makes you feel good, something that gets your mind away from what worries you every day. Um, so again, like whatever, whatever you enjoy doing, reading, cooking, um, colouring, listen to music, uh, have a nice and chilled bath or uh, um, I don't know maybe even try meditation and there's so many guides on uh, YouTube on how to start meditating and um, some people also enjoy yoga as a relaxing and meditating exercise and there's also s some uh, very important exercises that you can do for your breathing like box breathing, box breathing um, that if you get yourself a bit too worked up and you find that your heart rate is really high and you're even struggling to breathe in that, like I was saying earlier, a box breathing is a very, very good tool to try and, and focus on a deep inhale, counting a couple of seconds and then exhaling for the, the same amount of seconds that you keep your mind away from other stuff and it actually calms your breathing and your um, heart rate. Um, so again, these are just suggestions of what I personally like doing when uh, 
things get a bit too much and I need to just switch off from, you know, worries or work or, uh, um, you know, problems, whatever it may be. Um, and you just need to try and find what works for you and uh, dedicate a bit of time each day to do something that you enjoy, something that um, makes you feel good. Some people even enjoy ex find exercise a very good um, stress relief, a really good time to switch off. You obviously need to be in the right frame of mind, but start with something small, with something um, easy and achievable that you don't feel like you've failed. Um, and feel that moving and exercising, getting some fresh air, getting some sunshine, will actually boost your mood and make you see things in a different way. Um, so as I said, this is a couple of tips that I personally found helpful. Um, but you might come up with other ideas that uh, for you are synonymous, a synonymous of uh, chilling. So try them out and see what works for you. Um, so the other big question is, why is it important to manage stress? Why do we need to do something about it? It's because stress it has a huge, huge impact on our health. As I said, they increase our heart rate and they increase our blood pressure. That is not a healthy way of um, being, a healthy way of um, living life. And it affects our sleep, it affects our hormones, um, it increases our cortisol level, it just puts our body into a very, um, into a fight position. Um, so it's not ideal to be in that position. It has so much effect on so many different parts of our health. Um, some people might even find it very hard to lose weight, no matter how good they eat or um, how much they exercise, because the level of stress and the level of cortisol in your body is just too high. That no matter what you do, your body won't be able to give you the results that you want. So it's often under underseen, um, but the stress level and our anxiety has a massive impact on all of this. You might even find that somebody stop exercising and actually focus on looking after themselves, looking after their health first, then you will miraculously, in a way, have all the results that he's been chasing for a very long time. So that again shows how important it is to look after our health as well as our physical exercise or our um, good eating habits. They kind of go all hand in hand. And uh, you know, if I am stressed and overwhelmed and I eat rubbish, then I'm not helping myself. But at the same time, if I eat healthy and I'm stressed, I'm not going to have the same results. So we need to try and work on all the different aspects of our health. And uh, um, it also affects massively our way of thinking and making good decisions. That's why it's really important to recognize what is making us stress, deal with it, try to find a way to deal with it, seek help if you really can't cope by yourself. There's nothing wrong with admitting that we are in a vulnerable position. We need help, we need to talk to somebody about it, whoever it may be, and try and improve our parts of health on that way. You'll find that you live better, you'll think better, um, you can sleep better, and your body will thank you for it. Um, yes, so I really hope that this um, helped and uh, that you guys are all coping well in a way during this time and uh, don't forget to use this moment of self-isolation and uh, the way that there's not many distractions from other aspects of life to focus on yourself to work on improving all the different aspects of your health as i said exercise nutrition stress management you will be thankful for doing that because when everything will go back to normal you'll have a much better approach of life and you'll be able to succeed great so that's all for me and please feel free to add any comment below and any question that you might have and i'll be more than happy to help you out 
Okay, guys, well, see you soon. Take care and uh, look after yourself. Bye.